As you may know, QNOP released Why is it a big deal? I'll tell you in this video. What has changed really in the new new QSYNC file is that um, they have made it very similar like Synology Drive. So there were uh, functionality missing like um, keeping file only on a cloud, only on your NAS, while it still uh, uh, exists as a shortcut, as a, like a ghost file on your uh, computer. So you can actually see the file, search for the files before you couldn't do this. Now QNAP has um, enabled uh, this option so you can free up the space on your uh, on your um, uh, computer. So, for example, if um, you always have a problem with your computer running out of space, uh, if it's QSYNC 5, similar like Snorgy Drive now, you can just copy files to this folder and if you by default enable uh, cloud only or NAS only uh, storage option, then all these files you put in this folder will automatically go to a NAS. So you don't need to actually log into a NAS uh, or map a NAS folder or something. You just everything what you got on your camera or whatever, phone, you just dump it in this folder and it's going to automatically be uh, moved to, um, to a QNAP. So you'll just see a shortcut on your computer. So you'll have this unlimited um, sort of uh, folder where you can put as much data as you want, limited to your NAS size, obviously. So uh, this is how it's gonna look. Um, so you can keep on this device. You can uh, um, have locally available or you can free up space and keep it on the NAS only. Um, so this is the slide, uh, one of the slides from the QNAP show. Uh, so you can keep it locally or NAS only. Uh, They're saying it's gonna come out on a Mac soon as well, but um, this is something Synology was saying for a few years already, but it didn't come out, but we will see. Maybe QNAP can beat Synology on this. Um, uh, sort of um, competition. <laughs> so I hope um, that Mac does uh, get this uh, release very soon because Mac users really need this as well. Uh, there's also, they kept carried on a function called LAN uh, sync, which means that if you have several computers in, in your network, then once and everyone is using the same um, shared folder, then first user downloading files to this shared folder will automatically distribute um, the, the data in this uh, shared folder to other users in the computer. So not uh, com other, other users won't need to connect manually to a NAS to get the files. So uh, drop the heart of these um, computers in the internal network will just distribute on, the, on its own like a star shape. Uh, and uh, if you want to read more about this um, uh, new space saving uh, mode on the QNIP, you can go to QNIP article. They just uh, made it live. So you will have these options about online only. That means file will exist only on the NAS, but you will see it as existent on your computer, even though it exists only on, on your NAS. Then it's gonna be um, locally available. This means that um, if um, you have this file existent only on the NAS, but you start editing it, you open the door document or something, adds a few lines, it will create a copy on your on your um, computer as well. So now you've got uh, on the cloud, uh, on your NAS and your computer as well. Or you can choose um, always available, which means that um, it's gonna exist uh, on your computer all the time and, and your NAS obviously as well. So you can go through this article and, and read more about this. There's, um, I'm gonna go actually in the real situation how it all it works. So you can, by default, by the way, I'll add, you can, um, uh, what's the difference with Snowage as well, that with QNOP QSYNC 5, you can actually enable by default to have this free um, space saving option enabled. It means that everything that you're gonna put in this folder automatically will be moved to a, um, to a NAS and you will see only shortcuts on, on your computer because Synology is different that by default, everything is going to be on your computer and it will be synced, copied uh, to your NAS. So you have two copies, but then afterwards you can do right click and um, uh, free up some space, remove from your computer. So it exists only on your NAS and you have the shortcut on your computer. So this is actually a very um, useful feature you can have. Uh, and also they got still version control available as, as they had in the previous version. Um, and in comparison with other systems, so now we got QNAP and Solgy. If you can go and check the full video about our best backup NAS, uh, which I showed earlier. But at this point now, 
uh, before Synology was winner about uh, Q sync about uh, synchronizing folders. Now Q and Synology is very um, very similar, practically where like they they ex they look exactly the same. But if QNAP will release our Q Mac version, then QNAP will be a new winner about um, backing up and synchronizing your your folder. Um, because others as Aces store, they still have this old way of um, accessing file history, and everything's gonna be synchronized on and as and uh, on on the job on your computer. But there won't be an option as a cloud only and WD you now that they they have no their own software. You can use their um, um, uh, Acronis software, but is that anyway? You need to set it up so like a schedule every five minutes, so it's not really true sync sort of option. And their master doesn't have it at all. So let's um, have a look how it actually works in real life. So this is QSync folder. So you can see I've got a few files in there. I, um, I set up uh, 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 this QSync uh, Pro app on my iPhone. So it has its own folder which gets synchronized with So whatever I'm going to put in this folder is going to go to my phone. But um, this is my computer file. So what we can do, as you can see, these green tick ticks means that this file exists on um, on a computer and on the NAS. Uh, green and white with white background to take. That means that I've edited this file on this computer, but originally it was um, only in the cloud, only on the NAS. And um, let's have let's make something available only for cloud. For example, let's do a right click and go to space saving mode, free up space um, on the NAS. That's it. The file doesn't exist anymore on your computer, but it's only on the, on the NAS. So you, you can actually save some space. If you go to like loads of videos or pictures or something, and you don't want to fill up your hard drive or your SSD, which most of the people now choose SSD on, on their computer. So the space is actually limited, like they're 500 gigabytes or even less. So they don't want to fill this SSD with some sort of video. So it's better if they just move some files into this QSync, just drag and drop or whatever. <laughs> and it's automatically gonna go to a um, QNAP uh, by default. So what else you can do? Uh, if you go to, again, right click, space saving mode, um, always keep on this device. So now I just enable it. Uh, I, I told system to have this file on, on, the, uh, on this PC all the times. Locally available on this device. Now it's like on both systems. Uh, and you can also still go for um, previous versions. You, you can log in. Synology is slightly easier than that. Let's compare with Synology then. Synology would uh, go this way. Because Synology drive, free up some space, boom. That's it. It's deleted from computer, but it exists only uh, in the cloud. If we edit it, it's automatically generating copy on, on this computer. Desk, save, let's say it synchronizes. You can see it's syncing with, with, with um, NAS. Um, same happens here as well. Let's make this available only for NAS. Let's edit it. it automatically, you can see it gets synced exactly like Synology. So they, that, they, they even, I think, copied um, these little icons from Synology to make it look exactly the same because before it looked um, different before it looked like this, these ugly green things. But um, they did a very good job. They really, they really have done a really good job. So at this point, QNAP and Synology um, have equally good um, drive uh, folder synchronizing app available. So you can um, actually keep files only on a NAS or, or on your computer or on the both systems. I uh, hope this was helpful. These are really good news and um, when they come up, uh, come out of this finalized version for Mac, I'm going to make a new video about that. If you've got any questions, always go to um, an Ask Compares right inside, put your question in there, or send the email to info .com. If the question will be interesting, we can shoot a video so we can help the world. Isn't that great? Have a lovely day yourself.